guys to as much as possible. For a content creator like myself, there is so much on around the festive period because so many brands put so many activations and things on. So it just makes it super fun and exciting. First things first, today I'm heading to a wicked event with Jo Malone. And if you don't know Jo Malone, they've got incredible fragrances, candles, and yeah, they're super luxurious and just very, well, they smell amazing. And anyway, I'm heading to an event with them because they've got the ice skating room down at Battersea and we're going ice skating. Essentially, it's their winter Christmas kind of sense that they have, as well, they're just launching. So it'll be exciting to smell that. Anyway, it's cold out today. It's about eight degrees. It is full on winter mode. So I'm gonna show you guys the outfit I've chosen and we're gonna go ice skating. So I'm gonna wrap up, I've got a really nice coat and a really nice outfit, but I wanna show you guys and talk you briefly through the details. Okay, so I'm beginning with these cord trousers, which are from Hackett. They're a slim fit, they're black, and they're beautiful. Simple as. Now on the top layer, I will simply pair it with a simple plain white cotton tee. And then on top of that, for a little bit of layering, I have this All Saints cashmere cardigan as well, which I really, really like. Okay, so I've also got these boots. These are from All Saints. They're a little bit dusty because I haven't worn them in a while, but they all look really cool with the cord trouser just going slightly over the top of the boot. I think they'll look really nice. So let's pop those on as well. Now then for the coat, I'm going for this different one here, but it is new in All Saints. I actually picked it up on the Black Friday. They had 30% off, so win-win. It's basically a wax jacket, but also like a leather as well. And it has a little bit of cord on the inner layer here. Now I'll tell you what, for the, for the coldness outside, this is gonna be like the perfect piece and it's gonna look sick with the outfit. So let's pop it all on and show you guys the final look. Now, if you guys watched my Instagram video the other day, I always say put the boots on first before you put the top layer on because it avoids when you bend down later on once you've got the top layer on so it stops creasing so the boots on first even though my girlfriend's gonna kill me for putting the boots on first with carpet I mean, just <laughs> look for the carpet outside <laughs> she gave me a smile so can't be that bad <sighs> Before I leave, I thought I'd show you these nice shades I've got, which are actually from All Saints as well. They're their Phoenix and they're lovely. Let's go. It's very, very cold, but we are here at the Battersea Power Station and we're about to go ice skating with Joe Malone. Who do we have? Hi, is this your vlogging camera? Well, Wait, it's, it's, it's technically it's my it's everything. It's, it's insane, trust me, you don't need to go. This is 4K. This is 4K, you don't need it. Well, basically, I put it on 16 mil and then I do this. What? So I do that. So we get the whole. We get all of us in. Oh wow! Oh, that. Oh. It's just basically it's a good lens. Isn't it? I would be able to lift that though. That would no, be really it heavy. does give me shoulder pain. Yeah. But there you go. You can even use that. Do you think you look good? I'm Laura Blair. Welcome to my YouTube. You have to look in here, not here. Yeah, but I want to see what it looks like. So I need a new camera. Okay, let's test. Oh yeah, this is good. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Follow me, I'm at the Laura Blair. I think people already know who you are because you I feature enough on yours. So are you excited for ice skating today? Yeah, I just trapped my finger in the door though. You're just swearing at the audience, is that what you're doing? Look, got, you're very rude. <laughs> You've gone for the I like the burgundy nails. Henry tells me that he's a professional ice skater. No, my my <laughs> girlfriend is. I'm I've got so two left feet. We'll see. I know you have two left feet. That's why I was like, I don't think you can skate. Two left feet, Henry coming in. I'm just going to like watching it, like a giraffe. 
All right, can we not now? Can we not? All right, we'll catch up when we're on the ice. is good fun and the new Joe Malone collection is creme de la creme. Now this evening I'm heading to a Christmas soiree with Molten Brown and they are putting on a really cool Christmas extravaganza kind of event and dinner. Now they're doing it at the main in Mayfair and now the main in Mayfair is a sick location so I know I'll need to be going dinner vibes, evening attire so I thought I'll show you guys three outfits that I could potentially go for which may be able to give you some inspiration if you were doing like a Christmas party or some sort of work event that you need to dress for because there's so much you can do and it's cool to look the freshest in the room and also make your work colleagues very jealous of your outfit. So let's show you three examples of what I could wear and I'll finalise out all those three which ones I'm going to wear. Let's go. Number one, the cord suit. So option number one is the cord suit I picked up from Moss Bros. Now, as you can see, I'm only wearing it with a t-shirt, but it's totally up to you. You can wear it with a normal shirt, buttoned up shirt, or even a roll neck, and it will still look absolutely dapper. But make sure you focus on the cord suit as your main piece because it just stands out. And the one thing I do love about a cord suit is it's just very different compared to what other people are wearing. So other people at your work do or this smart soiree you're going to may probably just wear a normal suit and there's nothing wrong with that but a cord suit the material is just a bit different and it also stands out really well so this one's absolutely lush it's double breasted and i can drop the link down in the description box for you guys so yeah what do you guys think of that t-shirt or shirt which one would you go for or even roll neck So this is outfit number two. I could potentially wear this one. It is probably the most gentlemanly and probably the most classic British gen outfit I can wear out of the three. It's simply a pair of ankle boots, which I've got from Russell and Bromley, a pair of slim fit trousers I've got from Reese, which have a really nice buckle bit here to make them tighter or looser, which is cool. And then I have this roll neck, which is from Bert and Menswear. And then I also have this jacket here, which is from Reese as well. And this look is just, I really like it. That's it. If I don't wear this this evening, I'll definitely probably wear this one Christmas do this year because you just can't go wrong with a roll neck and a nice blazer. I've also popped a burgundy handkerchief here just because burgundy is a Christmas colour and I think it goes quite nice with the black and it's a nice contrast. So what do you guys think of that look? That's one choice. I'll tell you what, this blazer. The good thing about Reese blazers is they never go out of style and they always fit so well. So I've had them for a few years now. It's really, really nice. Look number three is probably the most controversial one out of all three because it's a little bit different. So I've gone for the same boots as before, the Russell and Bromley's with the same slim fit trials from Reese. And on top, I've gone for this spicy Sandro shirt. Now, this is very different. If you walk in to your Christmas party, everyone's gonna be like, that is like, they'll think it's definitely a bit of fire, a bit of a vibrance there. And I think that is exactly what you want. Oh, you wanna stand up from the crowd whenever you're at a Christmas party or a Christmas soiree because if you wear something very traditional, it doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't give you that flair which you can get when you wear an outfit like this. So for me, this is actually my favourite of the three, and I'm actually going to wear this to the event this evening. So what do you guys think? I hope you like it as much as I do because it's just a little bit spicy, and you can't ever go wrong with spicy. That's the shirt. I've also partnered it with a little pendant here, and I've got some rings just to elevate the look a little bit more. So what do you guys think? Anyway, I think I've made my decision. Let's press the outfit, do my hair, and sort out everything else, and I can get ready for this evening. 
So I'm in the back of a taxi and my friend told me to get this light off Amazon. So I've done it and yeah, hopefully the shirt won't get creased. Uh, that is the most important job because when you get into a taxi, the shirts always end up getting creased. However, I'm very excited the next for this night, evening turn right. and it's going to be fun. So we're heading to see Moulton Brown's Christmas collection and have a good Christmas party. Now it's a Tuesday and I don't regularly drink on the weeks, but I'm probably going to have a Negroni or an espresso martini. So let's see how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> So the layers are up, not exactly running weather, but I've got my snood, I've got my gloves and I've got my thermals on. But I'm very excited for this because it's a event with Garnier and my friend Savannah, who is a really cool runner, is hosting it. So it should be good fun. I think they're giving us kit and we're going to have a nice brunch and go for a 5k. I'm in St. John's Wood. I haven't been here in a very long time, but very excited. Let's get a nice little run on. And bear in mind, this is my first run back since injury. So let's see how I get on. I mean, the ankle's good. I feel a lot heavier, but that's pretty normal. I mean, the road to recovery is on my basic comeback season. We're in the cloud monsters today. Here's where we're meeting. I presume everyone will be inside, which they are. Oh, let's go. down and no ankle issues taking a very steady here with the team which is nice so i think we're at like a six kilometer minute average pace which is quite groovy i mean even the photographer's running faster so that makes me feel good <laughs> but we're walking around gorgeous regent's park so here we are we're with my g how are you feeling hosting your run club with garnier so surreal like try not to cry <laughs> I'm proud of this one. She has put in some graphs. Uh, you deserve it. You're a jeep. <laughs> Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so. No idea. No, 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 no,
you think about it, that's actually a piece of uh, that's a log, so they've cut it round that. Uh, well, think about that, the whole thing oh, was a tree. No, it wasn't. It's got, it, they haven't screwed it in, but they've. But how have they got that small bit and then the log like that? No, it's very It's wedged in there. No, baby. Are you, are you joking? They, they've cut round there. Darling, no, the logic doesn't make sense because it doesn't come through the other side. Look, it doesn't come through the other side. It's just been wedged in oh, there. Oh, right. Oh, my God. No, it's not. Fuck! It's like sword in the stone. <sighs> I'm actually sweltering. How do we get this out? Okay, so we've had to call mum and dad because we cannot get the base off of the Christmas so tree. They've advised us to use a five kilo weight as a hammer to take off the base. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. I think it'll work. Oh, oh. Thank you. Good, good, good information from you, Jezza. <laughs>
good. Like <laughs> all the Christmas tunes came for me. I was like, yes, Christmas vibe. But anyway, I've gone very casual in my outfit. I've got some baggy trousers and this nice Percival. I've mid-piece. gone really casual Laura too. Laura is gone like dressed like the Queen. Like literally, she's I, got, we're going I, to see like a DJ. I put and this outfit on, and I was like, I just look too good to take this off and be casual. <laughs> They have it. I mean, what's it's the old saying? Yeah, it's true. Got a point. And I think the fur makes it beauty. Once, I really like the fur. Once it. the fur's off, it's less Cruella. <laughs> Henry keeps calling me Cruella de She Bill. is Cruella de Bill, literally. <laughs> Where are your Dalmatians? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you guys at the O2. Hopefully, the music's going to be good. I think we have a box. Do we have a box? I mean, I hope we do. No, It'd be I amazing if we do. seats because the tickets say seats. I oh, know, oh, sweet. Yeah, oh, we do. Sweet, yes, buzzing. So that sounds really arrogant. We can only do sweets. Then it says seat five or six, so it must be that in front down. of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is giving me a good one. The suite there is amazing, so you guys can enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so we got to the O2, and we're heading to our suite. So we're very excited. Let's see. Here you go, Audi, right here. So this is the buffet. What do we got? Firstly, we got some Laura Perry pink champagne. Oh, hello. Eating chicken burger, unheard of on influencer and influencers life. Trust me, you won't have a hangover the next day. <laughs> Great night. See you later.